Hello everyone, Travel Albert here for another live review, possibly the 12th, I think, maybe. I still can't believe I, I always lose track here. <laughs> Basically, time's going by so quickly at the moment, I can't keep up with it really. But the gist of it is, I've done about, I think this must be the 12th live review I've done, so um, great stuff. Can't believe I um, managed to do it for so long, really, because it's. There's a limited amount of chocolate selections out there, I think you'd say. So, hope you're doing all okay today. Um, let me know how you're doing. Good to see you all, of course. Um, yeah, this one's basically it's the Bailey's um, chocolate collection. So, one of those where, I wouldn't say it lends you itself as a, perhaps as a chocolate collection as such. You know, you don't really see them that much. But I've sort of seen Bailey's sort of chocolate bars and little little Bailey's things here and there sort of cropping up. So, um, yeah, so I saw this one, thought may as well give it a review. Now, you'll see in the, usually in the top right of the screen as you look at it, um, as I look at it as well, actually, <laughs> um, as everyone does. Um, yeah, so basically, normally I would show like a little preview of um, the chocolates in the selection. Um, but the gist of it is, this time they don't really give you any indication of, um, other than what's on the front, um, of just what's in it. So there's no, you know, it could be a very short review, they could all be exactly the same. <laughs> um, but we do get that on the front, basically. Um, hi, Alan, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Good to see you. How are you doing, by the way? Is everything going all right? Um, hope you're doing all right, and I uh, hope, well, yeah. The weather's still it's raining again here. It was, I think it's been raining every time we have these um, <laughs> live chats. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's not a great, not a great winter. But there we go. So we've got these five different kinds of chocolates there. Now I don't know if they're all exactly the same other than the appearance. Um, I mean, to be fair, they do look different. Well, I mean, this one here clearly has some kind of cream thing going on. Um, I and mean, of course, the others all might have that on the inside as well. We don't know. But they do all look different. Is it five? Yeah, five. Yeah, so it's just odd that there's no description of you know what they are really you know there's nothing to say um, anything about them so I think that's a that, that is odd and um, it could be that maybe a bit sort of let's say new to the chocolate um, market I guess maybe but I mean I, I would say it's quite a standard affair I don't think it's you know I mean ever since I was little every chocolate selection you get always has a menu I don't know why this one doesn't I don't know I can't say it's an excuse to say well we don't make many chocolates so we, we, we weren't aware you had to do it I mean unless you've never chased a chocolate in your life um, you know or had the chocolate selection. And of course, if you are making one of these, then surely someone would do some research. <laughs> so <laughs> I find that a bit strange, but there we go, that's where we are. Um, so relatively, I mean, quite a nice package. It clearly does give you the Bailey's um, feel on the front. It's got a sort of creamy coffee look to it. So those you don't know, Bailey's is a is a coffee liqueur, isn't it, essentially? Um, sort of like a creamy alcoholic drink is the gist of it. So um, it might contain, I presumably taste, um, contains a bit of alcohol in here, um, but we'll, Find that out, you know. Not a massive alcohol person generally, but things like Baileys and stuff like that are the type of things I can sort of force down my throat because <laughs> um, you don't taste particularly of alcohol, although Baileys does a bit. Um, so, you know, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So, got the, this on the back. So, it looks, I would say the sides, you know, they don't look that great, do they? I mean, I guess it's in keeping with the brand, but they look a bit, I don't know. I feel like they could have done something a bit better. Um, yeah, I'm not wowed by the packaging i have to say i guess the front's perfectly fine you know but uh yeah so what does it say there um okay it's got english of course let's have a look so milk white and dark chocolates with baileys the original irish cream liqueur with original almond brownie caramel and coffee flavored center so there we go so it gives you a bit more description there um so they sound quite interesting actually don't they i think it's kind of doing a bit of a disservice to not really mention it a bit more but maybe they just want to emphasize that it's more baileys than anything else i don't want to sort of talk about the flavors and what's in it and which i guess is understandable considering the brand they just want to make it about baileys um but i don't know hmm i feel like this there's a middle ground they could have found there okay so there's the calories on the bottom left i've offset it slightly so i can read it at the same time <laughs> because my camera's in the way of so per 100 grams it's 509 calories 32 grams of fat 19 of which are saturates so per 100 grams that's not too bad in my recent videos, I've been saying that basically between five and 600 calories seems to be the, the norm for a chocolate treat per 100 grams. Um, and this is very much on the lower end of it. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad at all. Mm. Not too bad. Yeah, so I'd say I've had... I've, there are a few Bailey's chocolates out there, and um, by which I mean there's like these little Bailey's chocolate bars or little chocolate pouches with some chocolates in. So there are a few, and they seem to be cropping up more and more prominently as time's going on. They used to just be in sort of places like um, B&M. Uh, a bit more discount stores essentially, well not discount, but cheaper, what's the word? Well, they're discount stores, I'm not sure really, but not really your big, your main sort of Sainsbury's, as does Tesco's, it was more like, you know, the smaller supermarkets that were still, you know, big enough, but had, or we always used to have sort of random bars like Guinness chocolate as well, I've seen, you know, so there's a, a few of those going on. Okay, well, let's give it an open then. 
So I'm not too sure how many chocolates are in here. And what's the weightage? Uh, 138 grams. So when you consider the one we did last week, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, what's it called? Happy Belly chocolate selection was 500 grams. <laughs> and it was only, well, it was double the size of this one, um, which in theory means it would still be half the weightage, <laughs> even if you doubled this. So yeah, so it just goes to show. Okay, I'm just gonna open it slightly with this, uh, I've got a bit of a sellotape seal there. You can see that in the middle. Let's give it a go. I just have to be careful to uh, slice my finger off. This won't be a good start to the review. <laughs> okay, so I've cut the top there. I don't think there's anything else. There's no cellophane on this one. I haven't pre-taken that out. Yes, the cake bars. Um, what well, the what is a Bailey's cake bar? Is there? I don't know if I've ever had that one. I had the um, I've had the Irish cream um, French fancies, but I don't think I've had uh, Irish uh, Bailey's cake bar. I don't think I have anyway. Unless I uh, misremember it. So, uh, so the problem is, uh, the problem is, uh, I review so many chocolates sometimes, I can't always remember what I have and haven't done, you know. <laughs> hey, B, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, last week's, yeah, last week's, last week's were sort of like um, a quantity over quality, weren't they, I think is the gist of it. And, um, which there is a there is place for that, you know. Sometimes quantity is good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know, I think it was, uh, hmm. yeah, I don't know, a bit too much on that side, wasn't it? There were too, there, were, there was too many similar chocolates for no reason, really, you know, you know, and it, it kind of detracted from me in the end, I thought. I hope you're doing okay, AB. Good to see you, by the way. So, oh, there we go. Look, it does have a selection. Look at that. It does have one. It does have one. Yeah. So, what do we think? I could try and, um, could try, well, should I copy and paste that? I could try and put that in the corner as a gist of it, but um, it might be, it might involve a bit of uh, faffing about. <laughs> uh, yeah, because the problem is, as well, it's quite a bit, it's quite a big, uh, description there, but um, maybe we'll try and do it. Maybe I will try. Let's have a look. The wonders of technology. We could uh, could give it to go. So what I'll try and do it might just take me a bit of a bit of a manoeuvre to do it because I've got to get my keyboard back out. So let's <laughs> let's have a look. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and print screen this uh, selection. I'll just have to hold it in a in a decent way to get it. So let's have a look. And I'll try and put it so I can put it in the top right. Might not be as neat as normal, but we'll see if it works. Why not? Okay, so what I've done now is, well, you probably can't see this, but what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a bit of a screen grab. Um, but, I think I'll do it. I'll try it again, I think. So give it a couple of tries, and then if it doesn't work, because what happens is I have the mouse in the way then. <laughs> I've got the mouse point on my screen as well, so that's the other thing. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's try again. Because then at least I can put it in the corner, and you can have a read of them at your leisure as well. So that's the idea. Um, I just need to be careful with uh, how I do it. So let's have a look, let's see if this will work. You never know. Because what it does is this software, it, it's basically just referencing um, um, a, an image file basically, and then I just sort of put a pointer to it on the screen. So if I, if I could save over where the old one was, which is the idea, let's have a look, see if I can do it. You might hear my clicking around. Uh, yes, I do want to. Yeah, it's asking me if I want to replace the old file, which I do. So now maybe with a bit of magic, let's see, will it work? There we go, look at this, so if I can move this now onto the screen. There we go, so this is what, here's what they are, so there we go, <laughs> over my face. <laughs> there we go, the wonders of uh, live TV, there we are. Yeah, so I can hold that now in place actually, so you can see there, this is what we've got. So we've got the Bell Bailey's Almond Signature Square. We've got the, well, I'll look at it on mine, I can't, I can't see actually. <laughs> uh, Bailey's Caramel Hearts, the Bailey's Coffee Square, the Bailey's White Chocolate Original Dome. <laughs> it's, it's, that's quite a... Uh, literal. <laughs> the Bailey's Chocolate Brownie Cupcake sounds very nice. The Bailey's Dark Chocolate Original Dome as well. So there we go, so we've got some good stuff here, haven't we? I think, I think actually it's a pleasant surprise because I think on the outside I was thinking, oh, they're just going to be quite mundane, typical Bailey's stuff. You know, maybe there's only been five of them, they're all going to be possibly quite similar, just the gist of it is just the fact they've got Bailey's in there. But having looked at this now, I think we'd say this is quite nice, isn't it? They look quite good. Um, so we've got a preference then, which one I'd like to start with? Uh, totally up to you, of course. We could just go left uh, to bottom right, sort of in a clockwise, well, going clockwise maybe, ending on the dome, or we could, I don't know. They all look quite tasty, don't they, I think you'd say. I'm, I'm quite surprised, actually. Obviously, the Baileys of Almond Square is probably, it's the typical affair, isn't it? It's your old, um, well, let's see, what does it say? Yeah, it's your, probably your truffle -y, um what's the, other, what's the other words they've got for them? Truffle-y, noisettes, um, I can't remember the other terms now. The ones that we talked about last week, they're all interchangeable. You know, you've got the same ones going on every time. <laughs> yeah, truffle and noisette. Uh, yeah, and all the other ones. I can't remember what they are now. Yeah, there we go. 
But there we are. So yeah, what do you think? We could just go through them. Anyone got any preferences? I'm about six seconds behind you, basically, is the gist of it. So by the time um, I've asked you, it'll take six seconds for you to hear it, and then possibly six seconds to get the answer. I don't know. <laughs> but um, otherwise, maybe we'll just go, well, let's see. I might try the old, uh, yeah, maybe the caramel heart first, I think, if no one's got any... Uh, I feel like the Baileys one, the nice sort of looking Baileys signature one, maybe we should leave till last because it does, you know, even though it's probably going to be quite mundane, it looks nice, doesn't it? So, yeah. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way so you can still see it. Just make it slightly smaller. There we go. Right, there we are. See, not too bad, not too bad. So there we go, we've managed to sort that out and we've got the selection there. It looks quite neat, actually, doesn't it? I'm, quite <laughs> I'm pleased at my own uh, handiwork there. <laughs> to do it under pressure. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we've got this selection. So it's quite nice. I say I'm glad they have got this. It'd be nice if it was on the back of the box as well. I don't know why they've not done that, but there we go. And then we can move that out of the way. The usual old covering that they usually have in these things. And there we go. And it looks, uh, I say if I just obviously don't want to tip them all out, but it looks quite nice, doesn't it? And I think you'd say, I think that looks quite presentable, actually. Quite a nice uh, looking set of chocolates. I'm just trying to be careful. Uh, not to sp <laughs> not to <laughs> tip them all out. So I have to be a bit careful there. I think there seems to be two of each as well. I, I can't unless you can see differently. It's uh, three, six, nine, twelve. I think there's thirteen actually. So maybe there's three of. Yeah, I don't know. It's a three. Is there more of one than others? Yeah, there's three caramel hearts, isn't there? So, okay. So the caramel hearts have got three of them. So maybe we'll start with that one. Um, since there's more of them. Perhaps that's the one that's either cheaper to make <laughs> or, um, or the worst one. I guess it's probably cheap. I imagine it's not a coincidence that that was the one that's most got the most uh, quantity in there. So I imagine it's probably the cheapest to make. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get onto that one then first. I'll just move my keyboard out of the way a bit because it's in the way. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right. Okay, so caramel heart, why not? Right, let's move. Things out of the way a bit so I can right okay so I've got the camel heart here so here we go so it looks quite uh let me see if it looks quite nice quite as you'd expect it probably I think you'd say but um move that out a bit away just a heart basically normally the hearts these days in these chocolate selections seem to be always a bit um well not symmetrical basically don't they whereas this one is your old school symmetrical heart um which I don't mind actually I don't mind it's flat on the bottom you can see that actually can't you where it's been uh, filled in I don't know if you can make that out, but uh, you can clearly see there's like a border around the edge and there's a point in the middle. Interesting fact, actually, you know, <laughs> I'm one of those people that has all these random facts in the way. And uh, basically, if you ever look at the crater on the moon or something like that, you'll always see there's like a dot in the middle like this, like a little raised bit. And basically, it's because when the meteors hit the rock, uh, the rock's liquefied. It has the same effect. It's basically like a sort of middle... Um, drip or whatever sort of splurging up in the middle so you'll always see that so it's quite an interesting fact that there we go <laughs> anyway there we go enough facts for today <laughs> okay so let's give this um a bit of a measure so normally i go to the smaller cam to do it but i think um, i always find it's a bit difficult to um show you that so yeah okay so i'll just do this top to bottom measurement okay so there we go so that one is uh 1.5 centimeters in height now always difficult to uh, measure the uh so this side of it here, because obviously it is, you know. But what I'll do is I'll measure it from the sort of the middle of the heart sides to the bottom. I think that's probably fair enough. So it's in between. Oop, it, would, it would be if I could hold it still. <laughs> yeah, so basically that really. So there we go. I think that's probably the best bet. So um, yeah, three point one, three point two centimeters. There we go. Yeah, and just yeah, okay, and for the. Mm, yeah, and for the sake of it, I don't know if I did this a minute ago, but we'll do it from here as well. Okay, that's the two ed edges of the heart, three centimetres. So yeah, we've got a rough, I think a, a good a good set of measurements there if you ever do change things. So let's go to the bottom one so I can cut it now. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see, there we go. Here we are. Look at that. Right, so I imagine it might be a runny camel this one, so it could be a bit messy. So this is probably one I should have left to the end <laughs> because the gist of it is it's going to get um, caramel everywhere otherwise so I might have to start to clean it up but there we go, we've done it now. <laughs> okay, so you can see the problem as well with uh, some of this lifestyle. I try to get things as centred as possible um, and it doesn't feel, I'm, I'm not quite centred I don't think but you can't tell normally but you can now that the camera's there so I do apologise for that but there we go. Okay, so let's give this a bit of a cut. Right. Yeah, I apologize because I'm looking quite red today, by the way. I think it's the, I know my t-shirt obviously notwithstanding. I think it's because the, I think the heating on all the time 
and uh, working from home all the time. I think it's really affecting my uh, my skin, basically. So I'm now just <laughs> going red, I think, with it all. But there we go. So I apologise for that. So I've not been on the Baileys all morning or anything like this. <laughs> so there we go. So look at that. I think that looks very tempting, doesn't it? Quite thick chocolate on one side, which I don't mind. I think that's quite good. Hmm. Yeah, that's the other side, just in case you want to see that bit as well. I think that's probably not quite as neat. It's dripping a bit. Not quite as neat. But I think that looks a very nice uh, caramel, doesn't it? That looks very nice, yeah. See there, um, seems to be a bit uh, up close. I don't know if you can see that chocolate bit that's hanging off. Looks to have a sort of very much a squared wafer-like texture to it. I don't know if it focuses in on it. It doesn't do focusing in now, which is typical. It's possibly... Yeah, maybe you might quite make that out. It's because it's focused on my face, you see. I can't think <laughs> what can I do. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you could see that, but uh, basically this bit here it just seems to have a bit of a... Um, yeah, maybe you could focus in on that. There. If it's a knife blade that's caused that, because see that bit on the left seems to have a bit of a texture to it in some respects. I don't know what's caused that. Okay, right. Could just been a knife. <laughs> All right, well, let's give this a taste. Quite excited about this one, actually. Now, normally all the chocolate ones we've had, um, sorry, the caramel ones we've had in uh, when we're reviewing these chocolate selections always have a very butterscotchy caramel taste to them. And I've never been a big fan of that. I prefer like, caramels in your Galaxy Caramels or your Cadbury Caramel or um, Dermot Caramel, whatever it's called now. You know, just those and the Rosie's Caramels, things like this. That sort of not quite sweety, butterscotchy, sickly taste. But for some reason, always... In these chocolate selections, the caramels have always been butterscotchy enough, and I've not been as fan of, a biggest fan of that. So, so we'll see what this one's like anyway. Assuming there might be a Bailey's taste in there somewhere, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Hmm. Well, there's um, hmm. <laughs> there's a bit of a heat to it, a bit of a, a Bailey's creamy taste to it. Let's have a look at the description. I forgot to really check that out, didn't I, to see what was uh, in there. But, um, hmm. It's not actually too bad. It's got a warmth to it, definitely, as if it's got some kind of alcohol in there. And chocolate's very creamy, and um, mm, a different kind of creamy taste, actually. Not your typical sort of Belgian chocolatey creamy taste, or you know, uh, milk of chocolate or anything like that. It's a very. It does taste a bit, quite a bit more rich, a bit sort of reminiscent of Bailey's, actually. Has to said, and um, it could just be me imagining it because I'm expecting it. You know, if you'd asked me at a blind taste test, does this taste like Bailey's? Then. And what alcoholic drink does this taste like? I don't think I would have said Bailey's, to be honest with you. But knowing that it's centred around that, I can taste something um, a bit like that, really. Yeah, and it's, that was quite nice, actually. I think, and it wasn't too... I don't know if it was the, the caramel was offset slightly by the uh, creamy chocolate, but um, mm, it was very nice. It was, um, yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. I think that one's... Well, oh, sorry, but yeah, I got them from Asda. I got them from Asda, basically. Yeah, so mainstream supermarket. So, you know, they're not cheap for what they are. Um, yeah, well, I can't remember actually how much they are, actually. I, mean, I can't quite recall the price. Of course, the price can vary, so... But I think they're at least £5 anyway. So maybe... That's not too bad, actually, is it, I guess, for a selection. But, you know, they're not cheap, cheap. I think uh, roses and stuff like that, you get more in uh, for a cheaper price. But this is one of the smaller sets anyway. Um, yeah, let's see. Does it say anything about al having alcohol in it? Um, I mean, this is with Bailey's the original Irish cream liqueur. So it does say that in there. Does it say... Um, does it say it contains alcohol? I can't see. I didn't, I didn't mention about the palm oil either. So it's got a uh, yeah, milk solids fourteen percent, cocoa solids thirty seven percent minimum. Um, milk solids fourteen percent minimum. It says there. And if you see, it's on not not on this side, but the other side, the opposite side. There we go. Could just point there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I say it does. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I can't see anything saying palm oil though. Two or so fits over some minimum. Um, yeah, dark chocolate contains cocoa size fifty two percent minimum. White chocolate contains milk size twenty two percent minimum. So there we go. Yeah, not too bad. But I can't see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it does have palm in it though. Palm oil in it. Palm fat. So I should have done this earlier, shouldn't I? I completely forgot, got carried away really. There we go. So, yeah, Bailey's original ice cream, liqueur, milk, 18%. Vegetable fats, palm, shea, something else, <laughs> and sunflower. Sal, sal, I think. Mango and rapeseed. It's got loads of different uh, <laughs> fats in there. Normally only see rapeseed and uh, palm, typically. Um, yeah, so I can't see any... Um, 
Yeah, I can't see where it says anything about alcohol. It says drink aware on it and things like this. Um, yeah, I can't actually see whether it actually contains... I assume it does contain alcohol in it, but it doesn't tell you how much, you know, um, <laughs> that I can see. Anyway. You would have thought it... I can't imagine it would be enough to get drunk on if you had the whole uh, selection. Oh, uh, well, there you go. This product contains alcohol less than... Where is it there? 1.5%. Not suitable for children. It's done a cool, dry place. There we go. So I don't imagine that's a lot of alcohol, but um, clearly... If you had enough of it, I guess it would have an effect on you. So yeah, so mm, okay. <clears throat> worth bearing in mind. Worth bearing in mind. So obviously yes, if you know if you can't have alcohol or whatever, then this obviously does contain it. So, so there we go. Right. So let's go to the next one. Then I think oh yeah, I didn't give it a rate to the dad. Like, yes, that came up was very nice actually. I quite enjoyed that. I think it was a nice creamy chocolate. So I got to sidetrack there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Easily done these days. Um, yeah, that was not bad at all actually. The I said the can was nice. The chocolate was nice. Had a nice sort of rich. Semi reminiscent of Bailey's flavour too. You could clear, I could clearly see the influence there of the Bailey's in there, and um, did have a warm taste to it as well, which is a bit like the you know a bit alcoholy, I guess. I'm not a big alcohol fan, and that hadn't that didn't give me any problems having that. Um, it was good. I, I, you know I enjoyed it. It was quite nice. I think it's a good four out of five that one for sure. Maybe slightly higher. Still a typical caramel at the end of the day, just a runny caramel. But it was nice. Could yeah, could be tempted to give it more than four four out of five. Um, I think I will give it just a four. Though. I think maybe giving it higher than that might be a bit too, uh, a bit too, I don't know, peaking too soon. Maybe I'm not sure, but definitely on the high end of the four out of five. Anyway, I'm just wiping the camera off my knife while I'm talking, so yeah, apologies for this. I'm paying attention still. <laughs> so obviously, if I don't do that, it will be on all the other chocolates when I cut them. Okay, so let's go to the next one then. So what do we think? We've done the camera one. There's three of those, um, which is not a bad one to have three of. I don't think. Uh, let's see. So what have we got now? Let's have a look. That's I'll keep it slightly to the side there. So I'll put it there and then I can look at this one down here. So I think what do you fancy? Anyone got any preferences? I quite I quite like the look of all of these actually, you know. None of them look I mean, maybe the original almond signature square does look the weaker one of the lot actually, because it's just almond, truffle, noisette, you know, whatever. It's just all the typical ones. Um Let's go for the coffee square, shall we? The Bailey's coffee square. Well, I didn't. I didn't read the. I'm starting off pretty badly, aren't I today? Yeah, the Bailey's caramel heart. The a deliciously creamy caramel with a hint of Bailey's encased in smooth milk chocolate. So there we go. Hi, Rick. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, only six as opposed to the twenty or whatever it was last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honest to God, I mean, yeah, it was. It was a bit crazy last week, wasn't it? <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, Rick. By the way, hope everything's all right. Um, yeah, we just done the Bailey's Camel Heart. You just missed it, but basically, just of it was, it was very nice. Um, good four to four and a half out of five. I think I'm going to stick with a four just to not um, get too excited too soon. But um, I think I could easily on another day have given that four out of five. It wasn't bad at all. There's my face, by the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do. Um, I feel do the Bailey's Coffee Square. Let me know if you've got any um, preferences. As I said, there is a delay between what you type and me reading it and getting back to you. So obviously, bear that in mind, which is kind of why. Talking now a bit delays the time. <laughs> but I'm going to do the, uh, I think I'll do the coffee square, I think. It was quite nice. And it's a coffee liqueur. Yeah, Bailey's, of course. It says, a Bailey's truffle infused with coffee flavour covered in smooth milk chocolate. There we go. It's a truffle centre one, really. But I think I think this one is reminiscent and quite lends itself pretty good to um, to Bailey's, I think you'd say, for sure. There we go. So here we are. So the one at the bottom. I think I'll measure it first, actually. It's a bit of a funny shape to it. I'll show you where... It's on this camera. Quite nice, it's got the Bailey's logo there. It's pretty good, but it's quite, I was say, it's got a funny shape to it, hasn't it? But it's quite nice that it's not just a literal square, it does call it a coffee square or whatever, but it's quite nice the way the pattern there. Um, and I guess obviously you can see the Bailey's logo here on the box, so that's what it's based on essentially. Not too bad. Yeah, quite like it. It's, it looks quite nice actually, I think that's a quite a nice shape. You see it's a bit of a refined collection, can't you? It's not sort of one that's trying to be a bit too, um, yeah, what, what's the word? It's more traditional than I think other chocolate selections we've seen where they've, I'd say, like we're saying with the heart, the heart on these days, a lot of these chocolate selections is not, is not symmetrical, so, you know, it's asymmetrical or whatever. This one's a symmetrical heart, things like this. It's not trying to be, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not aiming itself. I think the demographic, I don't know, perhaps, I don't know, it's something either the demographic or the brand or whatever, but it's a bit more of a traditional looking chocolate selection, isn't it? Let's put it that way. So I'll give it a bit of a measure first. I probably should have waited to put the bottom camera on, but we'll, uh... right, so, again, we'll do the top to top there. So it's not straight, as I say, so it's one of those, not flat, rather. 
Um, so we've got 2.9 centimeters there. Let's do the height. Again, it's not quite flat, but we'll do what we can. About 1.4 meters there. There we go. Right. Okay. So that's uh, right. Do a bit of a slice. So I'd say it's a coffee. What was it? Coffee truffle, wasn't it? So do a bit of a cut down the middle. Cut quite easily there. Ooh, it's very uh, wow. It's very soft. This truffle. Um, I, as soon as I see, let me zoom in on there. It's very soft. You can see how creamy that is. That would squidge quite easily. That it's very liquidy. Um, yeah, but it's a different kind of truffle again. It's not a typical, typical truffle. Um, so I've got to push on the bottom on this one here. And I think you could possibly see. Yeah, look at that. You can see it's very soft. It's very liquidy. Um, yeah, can you can even see on the knife there how it's a liquidy uh, reflection. What I've seen there as well. <laughs> yeah, very liquidy. Very liquidy sensor. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's give us one a taste. Quite excited about this one. Not a typical truffle either. So they've, so far, you know, been quite, quite distinct in their flavours. I think. I, uh, I think you'd say so. Yeah. Okay. Let's give us one a bit of a taste. Let's do it. Hmm. It's almost a cream. It's not really a truffle at all. And I think we could see that pretty much. Hmm. It's got a very distinct Bailey's taste in this one. This one's very distinctly Bailey's. The last one, the the caramel. I don't know if it was because it was um. The caramel flavour is quite strong. This one is clearly just a, a Bailey's truffle, basically. It says a coffee truffle. I guess Bailey's is a coffee liqueur. So really, it's just it says Bailey's truffle infused with coffee flavour covered in smooth milk chocolate. Well, there might be a separate thing going on there, but it's pretty much just Bailey's taste, you know. It doesn't have the sharp alcohol taste, though, but it does have the Bailey's taste. Chocolate's very... um. It tastes the chocolate a bit better in this one. I think the chocolate's nothing really to write home about. Hmm. In fact, there is a bit of a sharp alcohol -y taste coming through with this one. Hmm. Hmm. This is one you'd expect from the Bailey's selection, essentially. It is like having <laughs> a bit of Bailey's inside your chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad. It's a bit, um... Yeah, it's a bit, um... A bit different, a bit interesting, this one. It's quite nice, as I say. It is like having a sort of Bailey's cube, you know. <laughs> and I think they've achieved it quite well, really. Um... Right, anyway, yeah, so have I tried the... I don't think... The last one I had was the brownie ones, I think. The mint brownie squares, I think they were. So I've not had that one yet. Um, I think I'll have to try it then. Yeah, okay. Definitely one I'll have to put on my list then. Yeah. I do want to taste more of them. They're just quite expensive and hard to get hold of. The Giardelli caramel. Any, well, the Giardelli chocolate. So when I have... I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, when I have um, oh, Giardelli, I'm not sure really. But either way. <laughs> um, yeah. Basically, yeah, they're very expensive to get in the UK, or I found, at least whenever I've looked, maybe it uh, might be different now. So I need to keep checking, actually. Yeah, I'd like to get their selections, really. Um, they are gorgeous. So I do need to do more of them, Rick. You're right. Yeah, I do want to try some more of those. But yeah, since you recommended that one, I think that'll be high on my list now, for sure. <laughs> they all look beautiful, though, to be honest with you. I imagine all of them are really nice. They look a lovely set of uh, chocolates. And they're definitely some I should be buying more of, really. It's got such a big backlog, though. It's untrue, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, this uh, Bailey's coffee, what was it coffee square? This is one yeah, I think you'd say was typical of your sort of Bailey's, um, what you'd expect from the set. It's got very much of a very strong Bailey's sensor in it. I say it's, it says it's a truffle, but it's really a cream for sure. Really, it's just just it's it's pretty much everything. It's just pretty much a cream, um, which is nice because it's not just a typical truffle. I think mean, they've done a good job there actually. Very reminiscent of Bailey's. Very gives you that sort of warm alcohol alcohol taste. Um, with Bailey's, which I think you'd be expecting, um, so it doesn't disappoint. So I think that one again, hmm, more, the coffee's more in the Bailey's taste, there's not really any specific taste of coffee. I think the chocolate's quite weak, it was noticeably quite weak in this one. It's more just a shell, a typical chocolate that's quite, got a bit of a crack to it, that's just good at supporting a sense, and I think that's the chocolates throughout all this. I don't think they're going to be amazing chocolates, but nonetheless, actually, it was quite nice. It wasn't too, it wasn't offensive, it was just... The right chocolate for the job is the gist of it. <laughs> it gave you a good, um, a good sort of, a good sort of crack as you bit into it. Um, yeah, overall, that was not bad. That one, I think another four out of five. I think, but I think you'd probably raise that one if you're a massive Bailey's fan. I mean, I, I'm not a big alcohol person, as I say. So for me, you know, I'm, I'm sort of tasting independently of the, of the love of this alcohol. But I think you, you definitely that would definitely give you that Bailey's hit. I think you definitely would possibly give that a four and a half if you were a massive Bailey's fan. But I think for me, it definitely gives you that taste. I think I'm going to say a four, as I say, a four. Um, but again, it's a high four. So both of them have been very good so far. Um, 
you know, yeah, mm, yeah. I almost feel like, you know, it should be higher, but I don't know. I feel like there's not enough going on in them, really, to say it's not just above, you know, not it's not going to blow your socks off, if you know what I mean. But there we go. But yeah, you're right, Rick. They are a bit pricey, aren't they? Yeah, the Giardet. I mean, worth it to to an extent. <laughs> um, you know, as a treat or something. I mean, when you consider what you spend money on other on other treats and things like this, it's not so bad. But they are a bit expensive. Um, but there's something I need to. Yeah, they're, they're so nice though. Yeah, they're so nice. I remember when I was I was in the airport uh, coming back from the US, where I got the bar from, and I bought these Cadbury's Dairy Milk Plains or something. They were basically there's something you can get for a pound or fifty p a bag of them in. Um, in uh, I think it's like B and M or you know Pound Stretcher or something like that or Poundland, um, Poundland I think it was, but basically at the airport there they would charge like ten dollars for it you know, <laughs> just goes to show really, honestly it's ridiculous. Okay so um, let's have a look. Still got them actually as well I bought them I don't know if I bought them from there I bought them from Poundland I think to review but I've just they're so far and I've just got such a big backlog I just couldn't <laughs> I'm not able to get around to them. So here we go. So we've done the Bailey's coffee cream and the Bailey's uh, ooh, caramel heart. Yeah, so, I mean, these they all look quite nice, don't they, these? I have to say. Um, so what's the next one we should do? Any, got, anyone got any preferences? Um, we've got on the left, one left and bottom right, got the dark and white chocolate ones. We've got the brownie ones as well. You know what? I was going to leave the uh, Bailey's almond signature square to last because it's the signature one, but I think we'll do that now, I think, because... It's supposed to be, it sounds, it, the others sound a lot more exciting than this one. <laughs> so I think we'll do that one now, I think, unless someone's got any preferences. But So it's a Bailey's Truffle Centre combined with a smooth flavour of almond milk covered in milk chocolate. So, you know, it might be quite good, actually. It might be quite good. Um, I think we'll do that one now. I mean, you know, yeah. Just because we've got a brownie one and a white and dark chocolate one, which I think sound a bit more interesting. But it looks quite nice. It's got the Bailey's logo on it, of course. But other than the Bailey's logo, I think this one looks a bit plain. Um... You know, to be fair, <laughs> I think they've kind of just put the Bailey's logo on and then that's it, really. Just a typical square. Yeah, I think you can see that one better. And we'll just move this chocolate thing out of the way a bit. Yeah, so it's chipped off a bit on this one, the logo. I assume it's edible. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. I should have done more of a reminder this time. I keep... Well, basically, yeah, I, I just keep... Uh, I keep leaving it until there's no point sending a reminder <laughs> it's just a bit because <laughs> I keep forgetting my fault but I'm glad you could make it I'm glad you could make it hope you're doing okay um, so yeah here we go so we've got a bit of a chip in this one um, I think the other one might not have the chip let's have a look yeah so the other one's not got I've been a bit unlucky there I think with the oh no there we go it's chipped in the, in the centre on this one so okay so swings around the parts um, okay so let's give this one a bit of a measure then so a bit more of a cube this one Um Let's see. You've tried the caramel squares, have you? Yeah, were they nice then? Definitely need to give them a go. Those Giardelli ones. About 2.7 centimetres there. I think it's pretty much a square, but it's not, you know, say on both sides. We've got 1.4, 1.5 centimetres there as well. Top to bottom one. Yeah, let's see. Can I measure it somehow? Yeah, I think we'll measure it. We'll do a bit of a more of an accurate one here. So we'll measure it right on the, the top here. So is that 2.7, so I think that's possibly what I got before. Then I measure it on the other side here. Go from 2.7 to, not quite straight at the sides either, so, you know, 2.5, 2.6, it's lost a millimetre maybe, maybe two. Okay, let's give this a bit of a chop. Let's do it. Let's see, let's get the, uh, the other camera on. There we are, there we go. Bit of a mess from last time, do apologies for that. <laughs> Need to wave it. Okay, so let's give it a chop. Down the middle. If I want to get my fingers. So again, very another creamy truffle centre. So these truffles are very interesting, very different. They're, not, they're really creams, really. In any other selection, that would be called a cream. Very liquidy. I mean, you can see how liquid that is. It's only just solid. You know, if you left it long enough, it would drip out of there. <laughs> you know, yeah. You can see with my knife. See if I can just... Uh, you can see that's very creamy, that. That's really creamy. Yeah. Mm. So very nice. So don't, yeah, so even though they label them as truffles, they're very uh, they're very much creams, I would say, these ones. Um because I think they've just poured you know tons of Baileys into it, so that's probably why it's <laughs> that's probably why. Um Okay, yeah, let's give this one a taste then. So well, it's just an almond truffle, is it? So there's no even real yeah, so it's interesting, isn't it? Did it say it was an almond truffle? Let's have a look. 
The Bailey's truffle sensor combined with the smooth flavour of almond milk. So there we go, almond milk. Alright, interesting one. A bit more, yeah, a bit more excited about this one. It's not your typical, as I say, shenanigan going on. Let's give it a go, give it a taste. Hmm. Oh, it's got a very almondy taste, actually. The coffee square. Um, but the centre's infused with almond almonds. Well, well, could be anything really, but almond milk, it says. But, you know, hmm. That typical almond, uh, almond essence type taste. Hmm. Not too bad. And it's um, it's very almondy as well. It's not like your typical sort of noisette or whatever, where it's got a sort of semblance of almond in or whatever, an almond one or what have you. This one's very almondy, you know. Hmm. Bit harder to taste the other Baileys in this one, I think. Hmm. I don't know if the almond milk's taken away from. The amount of Baileys in on the stroke. I guess you can still feel a bit of a warmth as it, you know, as follow it actually. Hmm. There is some there. Hmm. But very much almond flavour, that one. Very much almond. I mean, you're just you're basically getting um, an almond cream liqueur, essentially, to kind of taste is the gist of it. So wipe the uh, truffle off the knife. <laughs> yeah, so, hmm. That one, not too bad, that one. Again, the chocolate's a bit more... Um, more doing its job than really having a, a you know massively interesting taste. Um, you know, it's there and it's doing what it needs to do. It's got a nice crack as you bite into it, but it's not got a massive taste to it. Uh, but you know, it's all about the centre, isn't it? I think, and I think that would be fair enough anyway because here that's what it's about. It's a strong taste in the centre, very, very almondy, bit of an alcohol hit as you swallow it, as I say. Not really much of a Bailey's taste as such, but if you can imagine possibly an almond flavour of Bailey's, you might be somewhere along those lines, but it's more almondy in this case. Um, not bad though, I don't think I prefer it as the other ones, I think it's just purely because it's a bit bit of a one trick pony this one and I know it, while it really does taste of almond, I think if you really love that taste, it's very much an almond essence taste rather than a subtle almond taste, um, as if you'd actually eaten almonds. Um, yeah, I think, I, I don't know, it's still not too bad though. Um, I feel like these ones are all pretty good actually, you know what I mean, They're not, there's not really any real average ones and I think possibly, this is why I was a bit dubious about just giving the others a four. I think they are very much the high end of the fours. This one's perhaps a low end four, I think. Maybe a three and a half. I'm going to just to differentiate, say three and a half, I think, for this one. But I think, um, again, if you if you if almonds your thing, then this is obviously one for you. It's one of those. Um, but I think it's just as a general point of view. This one's a three and a half, I think. But a high three and a half again, definitely does what it's meant to do. The chocolate's not. Uh, the chocolate is just, as I say, in these in these chocolates, is really just there to give you the the sort of the, the sensor of the chocolate, basically. <laughs> but it's not bad. It does what it needs to do. It's not unpleasant. It's just a nice, as I say, bite to it when you eat it. But there's no real flavour in the chocolate, if you know what I mean. But there we go. Not bad. Yeah, three and a half out of five. A high three and a half, though, as I say. Um, I feel a bit bad, really, because all of these chocolates are, are pretty nice, and they're doing what they do. I just, they just, they just. I don't know. It's not. They've not got that wow factor in there. I don't think, and then, and they've not got a sort of like a variety of flavors and textures in there, which is why I think I'm only giving them a four. But they are very nice, and it's probably not too indicative of the real niceness of the flavor, if that makes sense. It's a difficult one to explain. That I hope you hope you get what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a bit, no X factor really, and um, lack of sort of textures, and it's just they're just one trick ponies. You know, they do what they do, and they do it pretty well. Um, but they're not giving you lots of different, you know. It's not like a creme brulee with, with, you know, Bailey's thrown into it, if that makes sense. You know, it's just a very much a coffee-flavoured Bailey's centre or something like that, you know. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the, we've done the uh, the top three as it happens. So look, and move this in. So, what if we've got the white chocolate, the dark chocolate, and this brownie one left? Hmm, all look very tasty, don't we, these ones? They all look very nice. So, anyone got any preferences? We could just go left to right, or... White, dark, and then the middle one. The brownie one looks very, very interesting. Um, that presumably, well, you know, yeah. I haven't got any preferences, but otherwise I'll perhaps go um, white chocolate, dark chocolate, and then the, the centre one. Um, let me know, let me know, or forever hold your peace, whatever they say. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just wait a couple more seconds, just in case. Okay, right, okay, so we'll go with the uh, the white chocolate one, why not? Uh, so Bailey's white chocolate original dome, it's a bit literal, the dark chocolate original dome. So these ones are both, yeah. As again, they've not really made put too much effort into what they like. You know, they're just this is what it is. <laughs> this is a luscious Bailey's truffle center covered in creamy white chocolate. So again, this truffle center, um, which again might just literally just be their sort of cream, really. I think they've just pumped it so much with Bailey's that it's it's not a truffle anymore. It's a cream, but um, 
here we go. So you can see it's got a, I don't know if you can make that out, it's got like a design on it and then it's been drizzled with this dark chocolate covering, like covering the design there. It looks like a design anyway, I don't know if it's just an accident of the way, the way it's been made. Yeah, once the finish is too great there, it looks a bit messy, doesn't it, on that middle one? Obviously there are two of these, one might be better, but yeah, it doesn't look a quality finish, that one, I don't think. It looks interesting. Flat on the bottom. Okay, right, okay, so let's see. Let's give it a bit of a measure, why not? <laughs> right, so we'll do the, uh, the bit obviously spherical at the bottom. The height of it. 2.1 centimeters. Then we'll do the uh, circumference at the bottom. I think it's going to be the same all the way around. That's about 2.8. Well, it is 2.8. <laughs> uh, and then what else? Is there anything else we could do? Yeah, I don't think it's worth doing anything else. Done the height and the thing. So yeah. Okay, let's give it a bit of a chop. So again, I think we're going to get that sort of truffly center, a very liquidy center. You know. Um, Nonetheless, it's, it's very efficient at what it's very effective well, and efficient at what it does. So, you know, can't really complain. Um, I think they've done a relatively good job here so far. Now, well, so this one, yeah, it doesn't give you any. Uh, there you go. So, very, <clears throat> it's not broken at all this time. Normally, it's been squashed in the other ones. This one stayed quite solid. <clears throat> I don't know if that means it's a bit less of a cream this time around. That's a. Check that out. Don't really want to disturb it, really. It looks very nice and neat. <laughs> Let's see. So if I'll just get the knife and tap it, but yeah, so you can see. Yeah, it is very it's very much that same cream texture. Just obviously I've I don't know, the dome or the way I cut it, it just lends itself a bit more to give it a bit more structure. Probably this the dome actually, because I think it's an arch essentially, isn't it? So it meant all the weight transferred, the pressure transferred down at the edges of the arch, which is why the arch is so strong. <clears throat> so it might be, hmm, just goes to show, mathematics again. <laughs> okay, so there we are, so let's see. Hmm, all right, so um, yeah, let's give it a taste, I think. Interesting, this one. Let's say, I feel like the fact that the chocolate in these is not the plus point of the of the set, I'd say. You know, whether the white chocolate's really going to have that much of an effect on this one. So we'll give it a go, let's find out. Let's do it, let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's very much like the sort of Bailey's truffle, pretty much like you got in the coffee, um, the coffee cube, whatever it's called, um, on the top right. Hmm. What's it called? The coffee base, coffee square. So it's just like um, a non-flavored Bailey's sort of flavored truffle, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I guess they're all you know typically they're all sort of infused with Bailey's, so obviously they're all flavored to an extent, but. Um, yeah, there's no other flavor than the Bailey's taste. So it's quite a sort of quite a creamy one. This one noticeably creamy. Um, of the lack of any other flavour. Um, but noticeably bays as well. We didn't get any warmth as I was eating it. Um, so, you know, as I did with the other ones, but usually it's taken perhaps the other cube to uh, the other section to, uh, to do that. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I mean, the white chocolate's really, um, yeah, neither here nor there to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm just, for some reason now I get the heat now. <laughs> I don't know why it takes that the second half to do it, but um, mm, as I'm looking out for it or something. Mm. Not bad, that one, but I think the white chocolate definitely is neither here nor there, really. I mean, I don't really particularly, you know, I don't know. The chocolate in the other ones hasn't really tasted of much anyway. So as I say, it's more been like a, just a medium or a vessel, a vessel really, to contain the the, uh, the center, really. And it's still the case with that one. I don't I don't feel like I really got much of a white chocolate taste, especially when it's so overpowered with the uh, by the center, you know, so, hmm. Not bad, but it's, I think other than appearances, it probably doesn't didn't need to be white chocolate, really. Um, so there probably is a slight difference there, but nothing too dramatic. I don't really get that much of a white chocolate taste. I couldn't really taste it. If I just nibbled the white chocolate, maybe I would get it. But, you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's, yeah, I, you never would do that, really, would you? You know what I mean? So I think it's a bit silly. So, you know, mm, it's a bit like the other one, really. A three and a half out of five, that one. Um, not too bad. just gives you a bit of a Bailey's hit. That's about it, really, you know, yeah. So it's nice, though. It does what it's meant to do. That truffle is very liquidy. Um, it does give you sort of a bit of a Bailey's taste, as I say. Mm. Yeah, three out of five, I think, that one. <laughs> I'm expecting pretty much the same with the next one, to be honest with you, um, which is the uh, the dark chocolate one. Um, let's grab that one out. So, so we did get two of each in this set, other than the uh, other than the, the caramel heart, which is actually one of the stronger ones, so it's nice to get three of those. 
So here we go. So what's this one? I think it's the same as the other one, isn't it? Description wise. Let's have just bring in the thing. It says um, Bailey's dark chocolate original dome. Warm Bailey's a warm Bailey's truffle sensor covered in crisp dark chocolate shell. So this is a warm Bailey's one. So the other one, the the white chocolate one, was a luscious Bailey's truffle sensor. Moving the wrong thing there. Uh, here we go. Yes, this one's a, a warm Bailey's truffle sensor covered in crisp dark chocolate shell. Not in a crisp dark chocolate shell. Okay. All right. Let's see if I okay. Okay. Move the screen off the. Uh... <laughs> you can move the screen as well with this software. You know, you can do all sorts. But yeah, so I move the screen off. There we go. It's just uh, okay. There we are. Right. There we go. Yeah. All right. So it says uh, a warm Bailey's this time. So I don't know if that just really means it's the same as the other one. Um. But we'll see. So maybe it means it's a bit more alcohol -y. I don't know. I imagine those measurements are exactly the same as the other one for this one, but we'll do it. Yes, yeah, so let's give it a C. Give it a go. Okay. Yeah, so the height wise, about, uh, about two centimeters. There we go. And circumference at the bottom, if I can measure it. 2.4, no, 2.7, sorry. Okay, centimeters, yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay. <clears throat> right, so let's give it a bit of a chop, a bit of a chop. Let's put the uh, thing on this. I say, I'm gonna be not too sure how this is gonna be too different. Um, let's see from the other one, but we'll see. Let's give it a go. Yeah, by the way, I'm cutting this one unsuccessfully. I do have a Discord chat, by the way. So, yeah, so if you have fancy to come into chat to me or anyone else in the channel, by the way, there is a Discord chat. So, uh, yeah, feel free to check out the links, hopefully, in the description, by the way. It'd be good to see you there. It's a good way of uh, getting in touch, things like this. Um, I don't know if you come to it, Rick. Have you been in the Discord chat, Rick? I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen you there. Good if you could check it out, feel free. The link's in the description, as I say. Um, I know Scotty's there, and I think AB's there sometimes as well. I'm not sure about Alan as well either, but there we go. But you know, feel free to join. It's great to be good. It's free and everything. There's no uh, obligation. <laughs> so there we go. So yeah, very. You can see how soft that is. Um, that soft truffle again. So yeah, it's basically a cream. I don't. As I said, I don't know if it was meant to be a truffle, and uh, they've got the ingredients. They just pumped it too much full of Bailey's. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's odd that they've called it a truffle. But they could have easily just said like a Bailey's Irish cream scent, unless they've just tried to, you know, or sort of like a thick Bailey's Irish cream scent or something. They could have tried to make it a bit more. Themed around Bailey's, I guess, but anyway, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. This one does have a noticeably. richer and drier taste to the uh, to the shell, actually. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. I'm definitely getting a dark chocolate taste with this one. It is noticeable. Hmm. I think worse as well, because dark chocolate's a bit drier than milk chocolate. Because the um, the chocolates, uh, the shells of all these chocolates is quite. What's the word? It's, uh, creamy or dry? Not. It's not creamy. It's, it's quite dry anyway. Quite snappy. I think the dark chocolate really lends itself quite well to this actually. Hmm. And it's quite nice. Yeah, it's not bad dark chocolate. You know, nothing. It's not like um, it's not too too rich. It's not a bit sort of like a, a sort of very rich or very strong dark chocolate. But it's nice. Hmm. I wouldn't say that the sense is any, it says a warm Bailey's uh, truffle sense. I wouldn't say it's any different than the other one, than the milk chocolate or the, um, or the coffee coffee square. Mm. That's nice. Mm. I think this one works quite well and gives it a different alternative, different flavour really. I think the, um, I'd say the, some of them have been quite similar. Similar ish, the white chocolate one, quite similar to the um, coffee square one. Um, so it's going to be a slight difference there, of course, but yeah, but this one's quite distinctly different, I'd say. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad. I think that one's a four out of five. That one, I like it. I think it's um. I think it does. It works really well, actually. I say that dark chocolate's very, very much there. Quite sort of lends itself quite well to the actual sort of style of chocolates here. I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think the truffle scented though is no different than the other ones, really. I think it's a bit of a. I don't know, it's, it's, I think it's just been a bit of a, I wouldn't say artistic license, but it's been just flavourful with the warm truffle sensor, just to give it a different description than the one on the, than the white chocolate one. Um, which is fair enough, which is fair enough, I think you'd say. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to, because all these got quite liquidy sensors, I'm going to keep, uh, keep cleaning the, the knife when I cut them. <laughs> it's 
So we'll move away some of the chocolate as well. So not a bad set, set so far. As I say, you know, even the one that was three and a half out of five, I think was wasn't too bad, um, considering it did exactly what it was meant to do, really. So we kind of got there, we got to the last one. But uh, I feel like it's gone a bit quicker this time than normal. I don't know why. Okay, so yes, yeah, so it's the Bailey's Chocolate Brownie Cupcake. I think this one definitely looks and sounds the most exciting. Um, yes, yeah, so what's the description? A delicious brownie piece. This is brownie piece. Encased in a Bailey's truffle center surrounded by a crisp milk chocolate shell. Okay, so this is one that looks a bit like a cupcake. It's got this sort of like a it's still got that sort of um cupcakey case side to it. And here we go. I think they've all looked like they should do as well. They've all looked like they do on the on the menu as well. I think that's quite common though for the chocolate selections really. So there you go, look at that. So it's got a piece of uh, chocolate brownie in the centre. Does have a conveyor belt look to it on the bottom that one doesn't it? it looks like it's the others haven't had that sort of pattern to it but this one does yeah well maybe not actually maybe that's a bit unfair hmm no it's quite nice quite nice uh yeah not bad there yeah so what's the uh, the description let me just have another read the dishes brownie piece encased in a baileys truffle sensor it's got that baileys truffle there um okay so it's gonna be the same thing as before it's gonna be a bit of a measure though yeah so where where are you from rick by the way are you from uh the US, where it's easy to get to the Giardelli stuff, or are you from the UK as well? Um, but yeah, so, yeah, I've not, I've not tried. How many Giardelli stuff have you tried, Scott? Have you tried a lot of theirs? Because so I've only really had two things. I think one of them was about six years ago, or four, five years ago. So the highest of this one, about one point nine centimeters. Uh, let's see. So we'll do the, yeah, we'll do the, uh, we'll do the circumference at the bottom as best we can. Not easy to do. About 1.9 centimetres at the bottom there. Because it's wider at the top, so we'll, we'll just do it in between the ridges, maybe. Or just do it as where it sort of sits to, yeah. So it's about 2.8, I think, at the top. Difficult one to measure this one, measure accurately. Yeah, it seems to settle between the sort of bits that stick out to 2.8, so there we go. I think that's probably fair enough. Okay, let's give it a bit of a cut. Ah, see, yeah, difficult to find in Canada as well. Yeah, diff one of those, isn't it? One of those, I think. Um, mm, it's San Francisco they're made in, aren't they? I think, as I say, I think um, I think where I went to in the States, um, they had, like, ice cream shops and stuff of uh, Giardelli's. I think it was them anyway. Um you know, so I think they're just very prominent. But you would have thought they'd made the way to Canada, wouldn't you? It's not that far away, you know. <laughs> right, well, this one distinctly looks to have a darker truffle centre. Definitely, definitely looks darker, this one. Um, I don't know if it, it's just a brownie piece. I can't see any specific brownie piece there. So I don't know whether they've just, I don't know, they've just flavoured the whole face. It definitely looks darker, this one, though. It's still a liquid. Um... You can see on the knife it's all come away, a lot more than the other one. Yeah, so I don't know, it's this brownie piece, I'm jabbing it a bit, I can't see any <laughs> brownie piece sticking to my knife, so I'm not sure. Hmm, I don't know, I guess it's sort of very, I don't know, this one looks very interesting though, this one. Hmm. Okay, well I'll give it a taste. Yeah. It's a very interesting one, twill caramel. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, the the were yeah that that twirl yeah the caramel one yes it's very nice that twirl caramel very interesting one as well yeah um I don't know how easy it will be to get because basically we have to we have to get them in from Australia essentially those twirl caramels are um, basically yeah Australian bars I think it's Australian maybe South African Scotty will know um but I think it's Australian for sure might be South African as well but yeah basically we have to kind of import them as well so very yeah lovely well worth doing but yeah unless sometimes we're looking we get them in a store here that sells random imported goods but generally they're not readily available so yeah so you might i don't know yeah you, you're perhaps in the same boat as us really um i don't know what you know what's the best way in canada of course there are some import sites that will get things to the uk but obviously they might not get things to canada so yeah i'm not too sure what to suggest sometimes ebay can sell good things chocolate wise i have bought from ebay before but obviously you are at the whim or the mercy of the uh, of the seller there as to how they package it and what they charge you for sending it and things like this so yeah yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> Got to find a use for her. <laughs> She'll be the Queen's number one priority, getting the chocolate sorted out. 
and she, she's the head of state of Australia as well, so we need to, uh, <laughs> surely she can bring it all together, you know, <laughs> honestly, I know, it needs to be, yeah, honest to God, <laughs> oh, there we go, right, yes, let's give this one a tip, I think this one definitely, possibly, presumably, <laughs> is the best till last, I think, it does look the most interesting, so let's give it a taste, hmm, hmm, it's definitely a richer, more chocolatey sense. I think if you imagine like a Bailey's chocolate liqueur this time, it's kind of what you're getting here. Mmm. Got those pieces on the top. Doesn't seem to be any brownie piece though. It says a brownie piece on the description, but it's really just a another one of their truffle centers, you know, which is just basically a cream. But this time, a chocolate cream, really. Mmm. Not getting much of a Bailey's warmth, but it's um. Slightly there. Hmm. I would say this one, you know, I think it's um, one of those where they've kind of exaggerated the uh, description of it by calling it like a brownie. What did they call it? I can't see it now again. Um, chocolate brownie cupcake. I mean, I don't know. This piece on the top, and they give you a slight sort of bit of texture on the top, which the other ones didn't really have actually. Mm, but it's only, you know, almost lip service really to that. It's not a massive part of the uh, the chocolate. Um, yeah. And the sense of it is, as I say, it's just like a chocolate um, Bailey's liqueur this time. So you've kind of, they've kind of done a few different ones. So they've got like, um, you know, different flavours. You've got like a caramel one, an almondy one, um, sort of the chocolate sort of liqueur one. Uh, and then you see you've got the white chocolate and dark chocolate surrounds ones as well. And then you also have the, I guess one that's a bit more coffee, perhaps, perhaps it's a bit more coffee flavoured um, in the top right. But it didn't taste too dissimilar to the other ones. But I guess you've just got the different type of limited edition or editions of Baileys they've done. So the chocolate one, the as I say, the almond one, with sort of like um uh, uh the coffee one, things like this, you know, um that's a uh, well I, I don't know, I, I guess uh, Baileys isn't really coffee liqueur. Well it's kind of is a coffee liqueur, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not really coffee well I don't know, hmm not sure. Confuse myself, get myself in the knots there. I think it's a coffee liqueur, but I think there are ones that they've flavoured that are specifically like a coffee edition one or something. So maybe that one's meant to have a bit more of a coffee flavour, um, but just tastes similar enough to the others. I, 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 didn't, I didn't find any different taste to it. Um, so basically, you've just got different types of Bailey's coffee liqueur in it, and they've kind of labelled them. I think confusingly or wrongly, I would say, labelled it as like a brownie taste or whatever. And it, it wasn't brownie at all. It's basically like a chocolate Bailey's, really. Um, yeah. So I think, you know, yeah, I think it's a bit of a shame that it wasn't quite a sort of like chewy brownie in there, really. Uh, I think that would have been really nice. And again, that's what's missing from this whole selection. There's no real other textures, and that's why the peaking at fours, really, because there's no other textures there. I mean, this one did have a slight difference, with, as I say, with those top bits. It's got those little, as you can see at the top there, where these uh, chocolate brownie cupcakes, it's got those little bits on the top, but um, they're not really noticeable. They're just slight slight differences in texture um mm, so yeah i don't know it, i feel that's where they've missed the boat really so i think on this one four out of five it's definitely like a nice chocolate um chocolate liqueur taste and it's quite it was noticeable as well it wasn't uh you know it was noticeably darker to look at and noticeably more chocolatey and nice um but again you know i think with this one i was definitely expecting some kind of chewy sensor to it or chewiness to it and there was no brownie in there, even though it said a brownie piece or whatever, um, as I say, you know, so, hmm, yeah, delicious brownie piece, so I don't know what that means there, really, so yeah, a bit of a shame, I think, yeah, so it's kind of summarising the whole set as a whole, started to there, really, I think the problem with this set is there's just a lack of textures, you know, um, they're all very one note, if you know what I mean, all of them are kind of a chocolate surround, pretty much, other than maybe the brownie one, but even then, only, only just slightly differently, uh, different, they're all just a sort of semi- Typical chocolates around with a, a creamy centre, basically. And it's, it says it's a truffle, but it's really a very thick cream. So maybe it is a slight truffly cream, I don't know. But better than a truffle, I, I say. I think it definitely works. And I think it definitely does the brand good to have that and definitely comes across as Bailey's, like being so liquidy. Um, I think there was a caramel, was it no, was it still a truffle? But this is creamy caramel, yeah. Yeah, so it was noticeably creamier, the caramel one. It was actually a caramel there, so it wasn't... Um, Labels of truffle. It was definitely runnier. But the others, as I say, are so thick, as um, so runny anyway. Um, but there's just like a thick cream. I'd still describe them as a cream, really. Um, I've seen other creams and other chocolates described <laughs> as a cream and be thicker than those. I think specifically in the, yeah, I'm not sure where now. But, mm. but anyway, either way, they're very liquidy. That's the point. 
So yeah, so I think for this this set as a whole, as I say, pretty nice actually. Does the brand uh, does the brand well actually? I think you'd say. I think um, if you're into Baileys, you definitely get the Baileys hit from these in a chocolate form. I don't think it's all too much Baileys. I think you definitely get a your fair share of chocolate in there and your chocolate textures and tastes. Um, I think they've handled it well. I think they're really balanced actually in that regard. Um, I just think, as I say, there's just a lack of textures there. I think the dark chocolate did taste specifically of dark chocolate. I think the white one possibly tasted of white chocolate, but it was overpowered by the uh, by the, the Baileys on the inside, which is quite sort of creamy and you know it has it, it takes the same boxes, so you, you they're competing with each other. Whereas the dark chocolate one, you know, it has a, re a rich um, dark chocolate by nature has got a richy sort of drier taste to it, and it, it, it stood out. Whereas the milk, the, the the white chocolate one just didn't really stand out as much. I mean, I think if you really studied it and nibbled it, you know, just so you could taste the chocolate, you would know it's white chocolate. But I mean, just pop it in your mouth as a whole, which is what you meant to do with these. Um, you, you didn't really get it. So, you know, so, but I think it's a good attempt. I think they could have perhaps, you know, I don't know, if, if they'd done some other textures or, or played about with it a bit more, they could have got the white chocolate to stand out a bit more, I think. And that's the thing, they've just not really done that really. And I think, um, and even the, the Bailey's Almond one, it's distinctly taste of almond as well. So they've, they've you know, so they've kind of, the sensors, I think they've really got nailed, really, to be honest with you. I think they've really done a good job with those. I think it's just the different textures and, and variability of that that they've just not quite got with these. Um, you know, uh, and the, the, I said the chocolate shells around them all is quite standard as well. Nothing too, I'm not going to blow your socks off. Only the dark chocolate one stood out really as being slightly different. The others were just merely there to, to hold the centre. And it didn't taste too bad. and gave you a good crunch, but good snap, rather. But... Um, yeah, other than that, there was not much to them. Um, but I think it really worked really well. I think um, I think with some more textures in there, I'd say if it did, if one of them did have a brownie piece in there, or it did have like a bit of white chocolate in the centre, or did have, um, yeah, I don't know really. Um, just needs a couple of them with some textures in. I think um, you could argue. I mean, not really for me, but you could argue the almond one if it had some almond pieces in there, like chopped almond around the edges or in there as well. You know, things like this. You know what I mean? I'm not a big fan of chopped almonds. You know, it, sometimes they're better than others. Depends on what they're how they're conveyed, if it's, you know, flavoured or whatever, but either way, you get the gist. You know, they could have easily added some other textures in there, and I think they would have worked well with them. Chopped almonds, a bit of brownie inside the actual brownie, which says it does have, you know, um, yeah, things like that. And I think that just those two, just those inclusions of two of them, I think will work, because the caramel one doesn't need changing. I think the dark chocolate one's fine as it is, because the dark chocolate comes out. The white chocolate one is perhaps the only other one that perhaps needs a, a bit of tinkering, just to, for the white chocolate to stand out more. Um, but I think that would definitely raise it. But I think as it stands, I'm going to say, let's see, let's get the order. Yeah, I think I'm going to say a four out of five. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so not too bad, actually. Quite higher than uh, some of the other chocolate selections I've done. Um, and if been, I would have said more more um, typical chocolate selections. I think they just, I think those ones just don't really, you know, they don't, the other chocolate selections haven't really, even though they've looked great and they've had different textures and things, they've never quite nailed it, you know, and they've always, they've always just, not quite delivered, you know, and they've always overcomplicated things or not, or, or, you know, not quite delivered on what they tried to say or just been a bit, I don't know, a bit neither here nor there, or if they've had white chocolate in, it's not, it's, it's not been noticeable. Um, whereas this one, I think, you know, it, it's primarily centered around the Bailey's concept and I think they've delivered that. I think they're just lacking on the, on the variability and the, and the textures really, but they've got a, quite a good set of, they've got good foundations here. They just need a t to tinker with those three chocolates, I think. Um, I said the chopped almond ones, but you know, whether that would really do it for me is another question. But I think you know it would. I think it would work. Um, get the white chocolate. Get it a bit more white chocolatey. And the other one, perhaps, just put some white chocolate in there. Or make the liqueur. You know, you've got the you've got the chocolate liqueur inside the um, the the cupcake, uh, the brownie one. Make it a white chocolate liqueur, or whatever in the or chocolate white chocolate truffle center in the in the white chocolate one. You know what I mean? Do the opposite. Do the equivalent for that. Um, and then obviously stick a bit of brownie. Inside the um, inside the uh, the brownie cupcake one, which is what it says is there really. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. I think a four out of five there. As I think this one definitely has the foundations for a good chocolate selection. Really, um, I think the fact that you know you kind of can tell almost that it is, even though obviously there are people who make chocolates involved with this because they've made the chocolates. You can kind of tell that it's not their speciality, if that makes sense. Um, which is fine because obviously if you're buying this, you are expecting the Bailey's part of it. Um, and that's what you've got, but you've just not really got the, the chocolate part nailed, really. You've got it there as a, as a means to an end, but you've not got it there as a sort of way to elevate it into something a bit more of a, of a decent set. But I think you've nearly got it, um, you know. 
I think if I, if they did have the, the things I'd I'd suggested, I reckon it's still I'd still probably give it a four and a half out of five. Um, but I think that's a really good result. That four and a half. I mean, it's not often. You know, I, th- I think a five out of five is not to suggest that anything lower than that is not a good set of set. Um, yeah, you know, there we go. That's my that's what I think. Really, yeah, I'm trying to say, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think I don't know what I'd, I don't know how I could get it to five out of five. You know, I don't know if I have the uh, the capability to suggest what that could be. I think you just have to go all out in it, make it make it a real, um, what's the word, a, a real gourmet to textures and senses and tastes and things like this to the point where to for me to tell you what that would involve would take a lot of thought <laughs> you know you'd be talking multiple textures and tastes in the different chocolates and that would work as well which you often get in the other chocolate selections but they don't quite deliver you know i don't know why they don't quite deliver the promise whereas this one i think you know if you did all that and had the same texture and taste and balanced it right then obviously it would work but that's very that's a very a lot you know easier said than done it's a lot easier to say that whereas i think just adding these one or two little changes would actually lift it up and um and yeah and put it more on a, a decent chocolate selection rather than a decent Bailey's chocolate selection, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, and overall as well, there was definitely a hint of alcohol in there. I can't I'm not sure how much so. It's very hard for me to judge that. I haven't stood up and tried walking around, I don't know if I would just <laughs> fall over and <laughs> have a hangover tomorrow, I'm not too sure. Um but you definitely got the hit of Bailey's in there. Um you know I think it was. I think it's definitely enough there for you to know it's Bailey's, and I think it was enjoyable, um, but not too much so, as I say, for it to really affect people who weren't that keen on it. Um, obviously, you've got to like that sort of. You've got to like that concept, but um, it wasn't. It wasn't there to an extent where it would really put you off if you really hated Bailey's. I think you'd still be able to enjoy these chocolates. You know. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> and it wasn't and even alcohol as well. Same concept as well. So there we are. <laughs> Yeah, a cherry liqueur cure one. Yes, could well do really. Yeah, because I think um, it's one of those really. Because I guess it's it's whether it's off brand. You know, um, that's the problem, isn't it? It's whether it's off brand or not. And I don't know whether that will take it too far away from the sort of Irish cream side of it. But you know, I think um, I think you're definitely onto something there. Something along those lines. Yes, like you say. I think the other flavors are based around the fact that they've done. Um, these sort of flavours in their liqueurs, you know, when they've released a coffee one, they've released an, an almond one and stuff like that. But they have done an orange one, I'm sure. So I think I don't think it'd be out of the question to say a cherry one. I think they've done an orange one. Um, so yes, I think you could be on something there, Rick. I think you could be right. Oh, hi, Alan. Sorry, I missed your comment. Yes, how do I choose? Well, <laughs> um, well, to be honest with you, there's no scientific way to do it, really. I, I kind of pick ones um, that either I, I can get. So if I go into the supermarket, I'll have a look at what they've got. Obviously, around Christmas time, they had loads of them. Um, so, you know, I just sort of say, right, OK, this one looks quite interesting. But it's generally ones that I think have a um, something about them, like, you know, ones that have a few different types um, of chocolates, which I wasn't sure on this one. I had to guess on the front of it, you know, because it didn't tell me on the packaging. But it looked to have at least five different types. Um, although, for some reason, they didn't include the dark chocolate one on the front, I don't think. Um, there's one I've not included anyway, I don't know which one it is, but uh, yeah. Um, which one didn't they include? That might be the dark chocolate one there, you see, so I'm not too sure. Um, didn't... Oh no, they have included six. Yeah, okay, I just miscalculated. Miscalculated. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so basically it's whatever's there, really. And, and of course, you know, I guess to an extent the price, because there's, you know, so for instance, Hotel Chocolat, whatever, they sell lots of chocolate selections, but they're like £30 each or something like that, you know, and it's difficult to justify spending that much money um, on a chocolate selection, really, especially when it's just for me just to review and things. But I would like to do that. But um, obviously then, the, you know, then the channel is like £30 a week. <laughs> it's quite a lot of money after all that. So, you know, I've got to I've got to rein myself in, really, especially when I've got loads of chocolate to review anyway. Um, but it's just, yeah, so it's kind of like that sort of like, you know, practicality of it, so the affordability of it and things. But you never know, I might do a little sort of like special edition one where I do a more expensive one. I've been considering things like this. Um, but I've just got to be careful because obviously, you know, yeah, the, 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 I, I don't make money from the channel, you know, obviously it'd be great if I could one day, but <laughs> but basically I kind of, I think it still costs me more than um, than I get from it, you know, but uh, maybe one day I'll change and then I can not have to worry about what I review, um, but obviously I've got to be careful really, you know, to not over, overspend and things like this, you know, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, just uh, generally ones, but I'd like to review more special ones like that, I would like to do that, um, you know, it's just one of those where, yeah, you know, you've just got, you've just got to be careful, really, with not going too silly on it, because it's very easy to buy all these chocolates and, um, and buy all the ones to review as well, and it all adds up all the cost, you know, so I keep spending all this money on chocolates and, um, yeah, struggling to review them all. So I have been considering whether to do, for a live review, 
maybe it's like a group of chocolates that I've otherwise perhaps not going to get round to do. So I'll do a few reviews of ones that I otherwise couldn't do. But I like to kind of dedicate a review to one product, really, because it's then it's easier for people to find and more relevant to them, you know. So I'm not too sure about that idea. But let me know if you fancy that, um, if that sounds a good idea to you. But yeah, essentially, it's, I think chocolates are generally people are interested in, look a bit interesting, um, are not too ridiculous, as I say. So like, so I say, there are very prestigious like chocolate selections that cost a lot, you know, £30 plus. And I think they're maybe just a bit too extravagant. But, you know, there are things that, you know, as I say, if I had the budget, I would like to review. It's not that I wouldn't, but, um, you know, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it, I don't know. I've got to try and um, find a happy, sort of happy medium there between the cost and things like this, yeah. Because that's the thing with the chocolate, the, the chocolate selection ones. They are a bit more expensive generally. Um, but, you know, I'd say it's something I'm looking into. I've just got to sort of... Um, balance it I think is a gist of it because I can't I can't really I don't think at the moment at least unless the channel you know booms in popularity or whatever and uh, you know <laughs> things like this you know I don't think um yeah reviewing a sort of 30 pound chocolate selection every week might be a bit too much and there's not that many out there either that's the other problem as well so it's difficult to pick and choose um is a gist of it as well yeah yeah exactly yeah I could do that yeah thanks thanks Alan yeah I might try and do that because I think otherwise I might not get around to reviewing them um, you know, that's the problem. So it might be one of those where, yeah, if I don't do that, then I just won't review them anyway. So, you know, I was like trying to say, I like to try and keep them to, to one thing, but it does mean that there, yeah, maybe I could review them. Um, <clears throat> so it might be a good idea of that. Yeah, I might try and do that, I think. Um, so it kills two birds with one stone then, really. So I'm kind of getting a, um, a live review in. Um, that's sort of, because obviously the live reviews, they can't just be five minute ones, you know, because it's a bit of a waste of time then really, you know, it's for you and, and for me really, because obviously you set it all up and get ready and then you open something, taste it and then go again, you know. <laughs> it's not really, you know, I think they've got to be a bit more substantial than that. Um, yeah, so it's obviously, yeah, so grouping them together, you know, maybe some things I've, you know, perhaps wouldn't normally review or whatever, or things that are, yeah, the themed, you know, like um, a set of sweets or something, you know, sweet sweets. Yeah, all different chocolate types. That are, you know, I've got some Thornton's ones, really, that I think um, could be could be a good one for that, you know, that I tried, wanted to review, but they're, you know, they're quite sort of biggish products, um, some sort of little selections they've got, so I was considering maybe doing those. Hmm, something like that. Yeah, maybe some little Easter treats as well. You get these, some of these small Easter products, don't you, that come out. Could perhaps review them all at once or something like this as well. Hmm, yeah, good food for thought there, I think. <laughs> Pun intended, or not intended, but... in. Sort of intended all the same. <laughs> yeah, dear. Yeah. No, thanks, Alan. Yeah, thanks for your support on that one. Sounds a good idea, I think. Uh, might have a look into that. Yeah. I've got another selection to review next week. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's a... Um, it might be a Lint one or a Thornton's one. I'm not sure. So I've got another one coming up. Um, I would like to do a Hotel Chocolat one. One of their H-boxes. Um, yeah, I would like to try and review one of those. Uh, I was considering the Valentine's Day one. Um, maybe for next weekend. So we'll see. Might do a special Valentine's Day special. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we'll see. So you never know. I'll um, yeah, I'll keep you updated with that one. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed that review. I say it's great to talk to you again. Great to see you, Rick. Great to see you, Alan. Um, yeah, Scotty as well. I'm not sure if you still. I know you have internet trouble sometimes. But hopefully, you're still there. And AB, of course. And everyone else is watching. I know some people don't like to comment and things, but um, great that you watched. Thanks very much for that. Thanks for your time. Hope you have a lovely weekend and a great day. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next week. I'm sure. I'll post. Um, I'll post uh, details of what I'm going to review. Perhaps Tuesday, Wednesday time, something like that. And I'll see you then. See you next day. Well, I'll see you in the week, I'm sure, but I'll see you next Saturday as well, hopefully. <laughs> okay, take care. Well, have a great day. Thanks again. <laughs> see you later, Rick. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon. Let me know how you get some of those chocolates, by the way, if you're able to find the, uh, yeah, the twill um, caramel. Definitely worth the look out, I think. Definitely worth the effort, for sure. And um, and I'll look into that Giardelli's as well. I'd like to, I'd like, I would like to review more of them. Yeah, so thanks very much for your recommendation on that one. <laughs> okay, take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Have a great one. <laughs> Bye.